What's up, yo? Um, Flash piece back. Um, I just wanted to say something about this game we got coming up, man. Um, Philadelphia 76 has got a game coming up against the Phoenix Suns today. Uh, tonight, and I'll be definitely tuned into that as I am to all Sixers games. But um, um, this is intriguing to me because I would like to see this here team uh, in its current version with James Harden added to the lineup and, you know, DeAndre Jordan as the backup. Also another piece, how we match up against a team like the Phoenix Suns. You know what I mean? Uh, Phoenix Suns, to me, is um, is the best team in the NBA if we're talking about, if we want to define team. You know what I mean? As uh, far as guys playing together who respect their coach, who respect their hierarchy. You know, you have a floor general in Chris Paul. Uh, you have... Devin Booker, who respects his floor generalship. Um, you have DeAndre Ayton, who plays his role, first-round pick, but he knows his role. Uh, Mikael Bridges, who, uh, as we know, the Villanova product here, who we wish the damn Sixers would have kept over um, Zaire Smith, who we got. Um, one, of, one of the biggest blunders Brett Brown has ever uh, committed right there, not keeping Mikael Bridges. We're talking about a kid we watched win two national championships right here, who we rooted for. You know, I definitely wanted Mikel Bridges that year. And if you weren't going to get Mikel Bridges, then you should have got Michael Porter Jr., you know, at that, that temp spot right there. But Zaire Smith, that was just ridiculous. But anyway, um, they, 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 I like the way Phoenix plays. And so, I, you know, I'm interested in seeing how it goes. And, you know, Monty Williams also came through here. It's another guy we could have just hired to be the head coach, you know, instead of Brett Brown. Okay, Brett Brown was, was awful, all right? Brett Brown was awful. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I like Phoenix. I want to see how we play against them. Um, I think we have the type of starting five that, that could beat them. Now, their bench is a little scary. They got that dude Cameron Johnson coming off uh, off the bench. That's like a big secret people don't talk about. Um, it's that, and then their backup point guard is dangerous too. This is a team that can hurt you with their bench if your bench is not on point, you know, if your second unit isn't on point. So um, I want to see how we look against them. And also, this is a team I respect defensively. You know, Jay Crowder. Another one of my favorite players in the league. I like guys like that, man. I like tough, enforcement, defensive-minded guys. Uh, so they got Bridges and Crowder, which really, that, that's the cornerstone of their defense, man, out there on the wing. Um, DeAndre Eaton is getting better on defense, but I wouldn't say that's his super strong suit. He's become a good and effective rim protector, but, you know, that wasn't like his calling card coming out, but I, I respect him. But to say the matchup, we look matchup for matchup. Um, of course, we have the advantage at center with Embiid versus DeAndre Ayton. But Embiid does have to be on point because a guy like Ayton hurts you if you don't pay attention to him. But there's no matchup of him. If Embiid brings us a game, DeAndre Ayton just going to get dominated. All right, point guard now matchup is very, very intriguing. You have Chris Paul versus James Harden. Who? This is very, this is very intriguing. Uh, James Harden should be better than Chris Paul, right? He should be. Uh, when they were there in Houston, Harden was the better player. Chris Paul was a great complimentary piece. Uh, but now, uh, Chris Paul has went to a team with a bunch of young gunners and cannons. He did it before James Harden did. He decided to go to Phoenix, and you got a, you got a nice little team there. You come in, lead, and do it. Now, he got to the finals last year, but just couldn't get past Giannis, man. Giannis is a big, gargantuan monster. Just is what it is. Really, to beat Giannis, to get past them, DeAndre Eaton has to play better. Simple and plain. You're not going to beat them with um, – uh, it's not going to be done through anything that uh, Booker does. Unless Booker put, you know, turns Gold Street, Kobe, you know, but for real, for real, Giannis is such an animal. For Phoenix to ever beat them, they have to somehow deal with that. A game Giannis. All right? I'm not talking about like on a random Wednesday you go to Milwaukee and beat them or something like that. I'm talking about with all the chips are, are on the table. You know, Giannis, that Giannis. Right? So that's the thing. So if Embiid just dominates the game, it really doesn't really matter what they do 
For real, for real. We know that. But there's a chance that he might not. You know, and Aiden might be better. So we'll see, man. Um, but this here will mean more to me, believe it or not, than even the Brooklyn game. The Brooklyn game. Now, the Brooklyn game, of course, was important because Brooklyn is in your division. You know, Phoenix is not in your division. But to me, Phoenix is a better team than Brooklyn if you're talking about the definition of team. And um, they're a better team than Brooklyn. So see how you measure up against them, for me, is really what I want to see because at this point, I'm trying to judge where the team is. That Brooklyn game was just an emotional. It, wasn't an, it was not an X and O game. It was just an emotional thing that they, they got us on that night. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, man, I'm about to tune into the game. Um, I can't, you know, I can't really can't wait to see it. Um, they about to get started. It's about to be tip off in a few minutes. So, um, until after the game, I get with y'all. All right, peace.